Salakotchum for Vigilo. Yes, but people say that uh, Morphy, uh, Morphy was winning so easily against because of his opponents, his opponents were not so strong. Govori se da je Morphy Salakotchum bili tako dobri. What do you think about it? Mm. Well, I mean, he, that's true. He beat many of them were pretty weak, but I mean. To je tačno, on je pobijivao mnoge koji koji su bili slabi. But the chess theory wasn't so advanced like it is now. Ali šahovska teorija nije tako napredovala kao što je sada. And but he also he beat players like. Ali on tako je pobijivao. Anderson, for example. Igrač je kao što je. Recimo Anderson koji je bio veoma iskusan igrač. He beat him ten to two. On Morfi ga je pobijedio sa deset prema dva. Nobody could do such a thing. I niko nije mogao tako nešto da učini kao Morfi. Može to jedan od to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy and in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is John William Schulten and this game has been played in New York in 1857 in the first American chess congress and this chess game is especially one of my own personal favorite chess games of Paul Morphy ever and Paul Morphy who has the white pieces Starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, the Italian opening, Schulten played, bishop to c5, b4, Evans gambit, bishop takes on b4, c3, bishop to c5, and after this move, Paul Morphy castled, d6, d4. Attacking the bishop, e takes on d4, c takes on d4. After bishop to b6, white is controlling the center. Knight to c3, bishop to g5, pinning the knight. But Paul Morphy played a very important move, bishop to b5. And white is threatening to play d5, winning the knight. And if black plays, let's say, a6, white can always place a4 and always attacking the knight. So this light square bishop is very annoying. And Schulten played. Bishop takes on f3. G takes on f3. Maybe black should defend the knight with the bishop. So we have g takes on f3. After bishop takes on f3. King to f8. Running away from the pinning the knight. Unpinning the knight, bishop to e3, knight from c to e7, king to h1, c6, attacking the bishop. Paul Morphy played, bishop to a4, d5, rook to b1, rook to b8, queen to d3, bishop to c7, rook to g1, knight to g6, e5, queen to h4. Paul Morphy played. Bishop to g5, attacking the queen. Queen to h3, knight to e2, f6. And this is a very funny attempt by John William Schulten. So Paul Morphy played knight to f4, almost trapping the queen. But knight is saving the queen. Knight takes on f4, but let's take it back. After f6, if white plays a horrible move, like e takes on f6. Of course, Paul Morphy didn't play this move. This would be a huge blunder for white. Then queen takes on h2, and that's checkmate. So Schulten is trying a little trick, and Paul Morphy played knight to f4. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes on f4. g5, attacking the bishop. But Paul Morphy played. Queen to a3, check, king to e8. And Paul Morphy played a very beautiful move. And Paul Morphy didn't save his bishop. 
And can you guess the next move of Paul Morphy? Can you guess the next combination? Paul Morphy played rook takes on b7, sacrificing the rook temporarily. Rook takes rook, and then bishop takes on c6, check also attacking the rook, but let's take it back. After rook takes on b7, if let's say pawn takes bishop, then bishop takes on c6, and black is losing. If king to f7, well, of course, if king to, let's say, d8, then queen to f8, that's checkmate on the spot. So king to f7, rook takes on c7, king to e6, queen to d6, king to f5, bishop to d7, that's checkmate. So we have rook takes on b7, rook takes rook, bishop takes on c6. King to f7, bishop takes on d5, king to g6, and surprise, Paul Morphy didn't capture the rook. He played queen to f8, and Schulten immediately plays queen to d7. And let me show you the other possible continuation. If, let's say, saving the rook, rook to b8. Then queen takes on f6. If king to h5, then queen takes on g5. After queen takes on f6, of course, if knight takes queen, then rook takes on g5, king to h6, rook to g4, king to h5. Bishop to f7. That's checkmate. What a beautiful calculation by Paul Morphy. So we have queen to d7 by John William Schulten. And then Paul Morphy played bishop takes rook, bishop to d8, e takes on f6, bishop takes on f6, bishop to e4, king to h5, bishop to e3, h6, rook to g3, bishop to g7, attacking the queen. And we have reached the key moment of the game. And can you guess? The next move of Paul Morphy. Paul Morphy played a killer move. He played a very beautiful move. What is the next move? Paul Morphy checkmated his opponent in two moves. So there is force checkmate, whatever black does. What is the next move? Did you find the winning move? Well, Paul Morphy played queen to f7, that's check. Also attacking the queen, so what else? Schulten captures the queen, queen takes on f7. And then Paul Morphy played rook to h3. And that's checkmate on the spot. What a beautiful checkmate by Paul Morphy. And look at this very beautiful checkmate. Magnificent. Another very beautiful checkmate by Paul Morphy. A very instructive chess game by Paul Morphy at the same time. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.